Hi, I'm Jake Carrick, Structural Products Manager at NEF Automation. I'm here at a NEF Value Add Center to discuss tricks and tips of 8020 assembly. It's our hope that this video will give you the skills, tricks, and tips to make your at home 8020 builds more effective and efficient. Let's get into it. This is typically what your 8020 will come to your house or to your shop looking like individually boxed, packaged in cardboard, and on a pallet. First thing to do is to inspect that for any noticeable damage right off the get-go. If everything looks good, you can move on to unpacking and getting your product off of the pallet. Once you've removed everything from the pallet and got it up onto a cart, another integral part is your quality check. You're gonna wanna look over the bars, make sure there's no nicks, scratches, dings, or anything else that could have happened in shipping. At this point, you'll also do an inventory to make sure all the bars are there necessary to build your kit and all of your hardware is bagged up and intact. Now that we've got everything unpacked, you'll notice there are lettered tags on the bars and numbered tags on these individual bags of hardware. Leave all of these tags on the bars and all of your hardware in their particular bags. The tags on the bars will have a coinciding drawing with them called a tag drawing. It will show you where the bars go and where they're supposed to be in the build, as well as a hardware list that will show the part number for all these hardware bags, what they're used for in the process of building. This is also another time to do a little bit more in-depth quality control on this. You get a little bit better look at the bars, a little bit better look at the hardware. But again, don't take tags off and don't remove anything from the bags until you're ready to use them and know where they go. Now that we've finished sorting and staging our parts, it's time to start assembly. Grab your hardware list, your tag drawing, and appropriate tools. At NEF, we recommend ball end hex T handle wrenches or standard screwdriver handle wrenches, the best for this, but the ball end is important. In a typical 8020 build, you're going to start from the bottom up. That's not 100% of the time, but most of the time that will be the course that you take. At this point, you're going to start doing all of your preloaded T nuts for brackets, plates, and other components. You'll also preload end fasteners or anchor fasteners, whichever fasteners you happen to be using. Now that we've finished preloading everything, we can start putting bars together and seeing your design come to fruition. On a side note, Investigate drop-in T-nuts. If you forgot to preload anything, it allows you to roll in a T-nut without having an accessible T-slot from the end to slide a standard T-nut in. And here you have the finished product. At this point, we recommend checking all fasteners and screws for tightness and leaving the protective plastic on any acrylic or polycarbonate panels until you're ready to deploy the fixture or pack it for shipping to your customer. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any other questions at all, please contact your account manager, local NEF branch, or structural product specialist.